Hey guys, Ledusia here, playing some more Dark Souls 2. That's right, that's how I'm going to talk from now on, with a poor southern accent. Anyways, um, Dark Souls 2, continue, yes, 76 is the level that we're at, uh, so, having fun. Uh, first playthrough, don't know too much about what I'm doing, although I have some clue as to what I need to do next. Thanks to just looking crap up. I also looked up how to dual wield. So apparently, if you're holding two weapons that have similar attack types, such as two of uh, these falchions, falchions, uh, whatever, um, or two thrusting weapons, or two stabbing weapons, or two blunt weapons, whatever, then you hold down the Y key. Uh, if I just hit the Y key once, I'm uh, two-handing. But if I hold down the Y key, I go into a uh, dual wield stance and then I could do stuff like that which does a crap load of damage although it takes off about half my stamina yeah so I can only do that twice but it does a lot of damage um, or I could do stuff like that which is really cool um, or my favorite combination is that followed by that which does a crap ton of damage really quickly so that's something um, that I can do also, I noticed that if I hold down the Y key, I can just wield my shield, and then I could do shield bashes like that, which I don't know if they're effective in any way, uh, but they kind of look cool. I'd have to actually test them out on something to see if they stun or hurt or whatever. But for now, that's where we're at. So I'm going to go back to Harvest Valley. And my goal is to progress through Harvest Valley a little until I find the branch of your petrified branch of your whatever. I'm looking for a thing that will allow me to unpetrify. I gotta kill that guy down there. Uh, unpetrify. Um, certain people. That will allow me to cast, or not to cast, but to build. Why is my poison still going up? There it goes. Go down, poison. Uh, I want to build, I want to get boss weapons from those boss souls that I got. And hopefully one of those weapons, or some of those weapons. I haven't actually looked up what weapons I can get, so I don't know. I'm hoping they're going to be better than the weapons I have allowing me to do more damage thus allowing me to make better progress that or I just have to face uh, the fact that <clears throat> this is a difficult game and then I'm going to have to simply fight my way through uh, those water monsters or through the gargoyles or whatever all those places that I didn't really necessarily want to... Well, that I was having problems with. Didn't necessarily want to fight. Oh, come on, skeleton dude. Alright, fine. I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here. I seem to run slower through the poison. So it does seem like poison... Not only poisons me, but also impacts the speed at which I run is good to know. Let me make sure I have the right Falcon equipped. Yeah, plus five. I did upgrade it a little. So now that I've checked out all the items here, I think all the items, uh, next goal is to run into this cave. And kill the skeleton. And the fact that I get the souls means he won't spawn there's a pit down there that I could potentially go into if I want to. The question is, do I want to? Fragrant Baron Trevior, that's what I've been after. In fact, that's really the only thing I'm after. That looks like that's breakable, those rocks there. But oh, snap. Yavlan know you. Gavlan will 
Gavlin deal. Yeah, I know Gavlin. Many, many souls. <laughs> what you want. With Gavlan, you will. <laughs> you, you do. Deal. <laughs> Love how everybody in this game has a unique laugh. Wish real life was like that. Actually, it kind of is, I guess, but, you know. A strange and creepy unique laugh for everyone. Uh, so I want to sell stuff, right? I want to sell two of these. I don't need three of a certain shield type. type. Um, the only reason I'm keeping two bows is because um, I might be able to upgrade them later. Now, where are my duplicate? Yeah, so I have five of Farragarian armor. So we're going to sell four of those. We'll keep one around Royal Swordsman gloves. No point in duplicates of that. Uh, Banded boots, Fargarian helm, rogue armor, I have two of those, rogue leggings, two of those, don't need. Uh, hollow infantry helm, I could sell one. Everything else I have, I think, is singular. For now. Um, rings, don't have duplicates, nothing to sell there, nothing to sell here, and nothing to really sell there. Many deal, many. So that's not wow. bad. Let's see if he sells anything unique or different. I already have that. I bought all of his arrows. Um, so I guess I could buy more poison moss, throwing knives if I really want, or uh, pine poison pine resin, which doesn't seem like a bad thing. Um, but I'm not going to buy it. I'll tell you why. Weakness wheel. Also dealing, I hear, is a weakness. Let's hope he doesn't attack me if I open up this chest and take a raw stone. What the hell is a raw stone? An alter state of titanite, changed weapon class to raw, cannot be used on shields. Oops. This un this unusually hard titanite raises the weapon's physical attack power but lower strength and dictionary bonus. So I can make raw weapons, basically try tongue. Is that a wall that I can break? How did this guy die? Fighting something in here. Probably fighting Gavlon. Why would you fight Gavlon? Merchant ahead. That is true. That I should be raiding. Um, is this a terrible idea to go down here? Yes. Oh, I see. There's a pathway. See, in here I thought that was something. But instead, there's a pathway down there. But, I'm going to come back here later. Right now, I really want to look into some uh, boss class weapons. Not that those are necessarily the, the right way to go. The best thing to do is if I can figure out how to upgrade my weapons to uh, whatchamacallit. Oh cool! I didn't notice this before. When I run through the poison my legs uh, turn poisonous or turn green when I run through the poison mock. You could see and then as the poison fades I said as the poison fades Whatever. It gets less. That's awesome. Uh, travel. Now we're going to the Lost Bastille. Actually, I think I need to go to the Salt Fort, I think is the better one. So I think this would be the easiest, easier, easiest way, because I killed all those guys, so it's just a matter of running back this way. For me to get to the building across the the way here, across the pond, if you will, 
And then in there I should find the cell that has the guy with the thing. <laughs> that makes sense. You wheel, you deal. Also you die. Now these guys I hate. So whenever I can kill them from a distance, I will take that opportunity. Where is this guy? Is this cell down here or up there? I don't remember. Unfortunately, I think I have to kill these guys. Yeah, it's up here. Okay, I think that guy's gonna come after me. Just don't give him the opportunity to uh, do his explody attack and you'll be fine. Talking to myself, of course. I like how nobody notices what's going on. That their comrades are getting killed right in front of them. But that's okay. Better, all the better for me or something. Uh, use Franklin Branch of Yore, yes. So theoretically, if what I read is true, I'll be able to get boss weapons from this guy. Thanks. Still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. That's what she said. <laughs> no? No, does it make sense? Alright. I am strayed. A wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time. But I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Cursed one, you lack intelligence. And you're ugly. Weak. So terribly weak. <laughs> Sell me weapons. <laughs> Cursed one, weak. <laughs> Don't tell me I did... Oh, shit. Did I do this for nothing? I hope I didn't. Cursed one. We. <laughs> hmm. My int is one. What does my int have to be in order for him to sell me crap? Weak. <laughs> Shit. He is now to the side there. Interesting. And they're all pissed off. Shit. Everyone's pissed off at me now. Don't. Shit. Almost got killed. Uh, here. Alright, let's kill these guys enough times so that this doesn't isn't a problem. Which it's gonna be, I'm sure. And I don't know what that status effect is. Interesting. Is that petrification? Is that like curse? I have absolutely no idea what that effect is. Cursed one. We. Damn it. <laughs> Good news is if I kill these guys, they seem to give me a decent amount of a decent amount of souls, so and I might be able to just kill them. At least some of them. Right from here. guys. Yep, just one more. So if I can do this enough times without 
I don't have that key. If I can do this enough times, <clears throat> give me a little over a thousand. This will give me a bit of souls to level up. It's a little bit of farming, but that's okay. Easier. And we run out and just kill you. And then we just go over here and kill you. So yeah, a little bit over a thousand. So that's nice. It's a nice little boost. <clears throat> Plus it gets them to stop spawning. Freeze up another bonfire area. Easy enough to kill them. I shoot that one first. That one doesn't aggro. Good to know. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> I should find out how much intelligence I need. I didn't read up on any of this stuff. I just knew that I could potentially get boss weapons and I got it all happy and stuff. Shit. Kill you before your friends come in here. Like so. It's the guy from the corner. Runs in. Alright. We're doing this. We're clearing these guys out. Then we'll go level up. And we'll look into if I need to level up intelligence. Maybe I should just respect my character too. Something like a strength build. I was trying to do a dex build, but in hindsight. Don't kill me. Also, don't like curse me because that is probably worse. In hindsight, lacking intelligence and stuff makes for much harder to do a lot of stuff like. Don't have attunement slots, can't cast spells. When I did try to get attunement slots, I didn't realize it would take 10 levels in attunement to be able to do this, which makes me very unhappy. So I wasted a few levels. I wasted five levels putting into attunement where I can't even do anything with it. So I could definitely respect to be much more. Um, Optimal. Although I do like the bow. So I could still keep Dex. Or maybe focus on upping my intelligence a little so that I can talk to these guys. Learning Skull. Maybe forget about strength or something. I don't know. The bow makes all some of this much easier. Skull. I guess alluring skulls are nice to have. Come on, these guys have to stop spawning eventually. But not quite yet.
Yeah, no, this is a good farming spot. Gets me lots of souls. Only regret is, uh... He won't talk to me. <laughs> and this will only be enough to level up twice, which unfortunately means... Yep, they stopped spawning. Which unfortunately means... I don't know how, how much intelligence I need. Uh, in order to be able to talk to him. I'm gonna look it up real quick while I travel to Manchula. Emerald Herald, whatever the frick your name is. Uh, level me up. Alright, so... I have one int. I was hoping not to have to level up int too much. But, um... Alright, so I think... I just looked it up. Uh, I needed to have at least three intelligence. So that should be... Just the right amount. Strad cell is where I need to go. So, that little bit of farming there, apparently should have done it. Let's see if he'll talk to me now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. I wonder if. Next one, weak you may be, but I. Strength will teach you my spells. I don't care about your spells. I want gestures. Lock, yes. And I also want uh, to trade, but here, I'll oh, talk to you. How long was I sat petrified? Long enough for <coughs> the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? Because <laughs> no one likes you. Drang Lake. I've never heard the name. Is that what they call this place now? Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of course, you came of your own free will. <laughs> the people fear the cursed ones like a plague. Some people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. It's like the undead oh, asylum. Very typical. Meat minds, don't you think? <laughs> so the undead are the cursed ones. Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. Okay. They even turned the great strain into a stone. That's you. <laughs> Many kingdoms rose and fell on this tract of earth. Mine was by no means the first. Oh, that's interesting. So he's from Anything here. Anything that has a beginning also has an end. No flame, however brilliant, does not one day splutter and fade. Okay. So... From the ashes, the flame reignites, and a new kingdom is born, sporting a new face. It is all a curse. <laughs> all right, so that's kind of and big, I think. It is your cursed flesh that will inherit the flame. <laughs> all right, if I were to guess, this is kind of big because a this leads me to believe that Draglick. Tranklick, whatever. Uh, it was once Olafus, because he said, you know, 
his kingdom used to be here, but now it's gone. And it was also Lord Dran uh, from Dark Souls 1. So it seems like he's saying that um, kingdoms rise and fall, basically. Uh, so new kingdom rises, then goes through a successful period, falls apart. Somebody else builds the kingdom on top of it, just like the bonfires and the flames, which... Uh, burn brightly and then die out but then a new flame is reignited from the ashes which is kind of the whole theme or the whole thematic uh, aspect of Dark Souls basically where Dark Souls 1 the flame was dying out you could let it die you could reignite it um, and I'm assuming it's the same thing here that the kingdom is falling apart uh, everyone's going undead turning to undead so kind of the flames are dying and we're going through another cycle of this curse where uh, undead pop up, everybody dies, you can reignite the flame for a little bit, at least a little while, it'll die eventually anyways, but a little while to kind of hold back the undead curse or you can let it die, bring in the dark, uh, and then eventually a new flame will show up and everyone will be happy again. So that's what I gather from this. Pyromancy was created by the ancient witch of fire. She harnessed the power of flame and melded it into fire. So that's the old witch of Isolith he's talking about. The witch led her daughters into <clears throat> war against the old ones. Assuming the old ones are the dragons. But legends are legends. What are you prepared to believe? <laughs> this would be a lot more confusing if you didn't play Dark Souls 1, I think. Oh, how long was I sat petrified? Long enough for the old king. Why didn't Yeah. Drang Ling. Okay. He's going to start repeating. Trade. What do you have? Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword. Aha. So I think these are the boss weapons that I could potentially buy. Um, Soul of the Pursuer required items. There we go. Warp Sword has an A rating uh, and 25. Curved Sword Forged, it's got 92 with whatever the parry, whatever these stats are. Uh, poise Damage and Counter Strength. But it's got a really good uh, Dex rating. And it is a Curved Sword Forged from the Soul of the Flexile Century, once straight but later twisted to reflect its warped owner. Oh, the dungeons overflow with the accursed, and the king commanded the contorted sentry to deliver those who had no cells to a faraway land and to make certain they were never heard from again. Um, this has Arc Sword a pretty good rating um, for Dex, a B ray scaling. That is not rating scaling, um, but it requires more strength than I currently have. But Curved Great Sword forged from the soul of the Fluxile Sentry. There's something and something in it. Ten brilliant with a long curved blade. All right, so if I'm going to get a weapon from the sentry, it's probably going to be the warped sword. Although the arc sword would be pretty good. Giant stone axe. I'm never going to have the strength to wield that. Uh, let's look at the description though. Great axe was forged from the last giant soul. This weapon resembles a primitive stone tool, but it's quite powerful owing to its immense size. Uh, Barb Club, I could potentially wield that. It's got an okay rating for de dexterity. Uh, Dragon Rider's Halberd, doesn't look too bad. Um, it's got good durability, 70. Stability, I don't care about. And it's got pretty good physical attack and magic attack, actually. So that might be worthwhile, and it won't take too much more strength, I think, just two strength. Um, Roaring Halberd. It's got, what the hell is this? Uh, dark Attack. That's pretty good. Plus Physical Attack. It's a slash weapon, so it's another Halberd. So I've got two Halberds here. Magic, Dark, both pretty decent. Um, I don't have the intelligence or the faith to wield that one though, so that one's kind of out for now. 
Uh, this is Dragon Rider Twin Blade, would require 20 strength, but it's got, uh, I wouldn't say great scaling. Dragon Rider Bow. Oh, that sucks. So I either Dragon Rider Halberd or I could get a Dragon Rider Bow, which is probably better than the bow I have. And I do like the bow. Uh, Pursuer's Great Shield, no thanks. And Dragon Rider Great Shield, no thanks. So there's a couple of things that I want. The Warp Sword would be nice to have. Yep, Warp Sword would be nice. And I could hopefully improve it. Um, and I would like the Halberd, Skeleton Lord, Soul, Dragon Rider, Soul. Dragon Rider, you can make, wow, four weapons out of. Um, as much as I would like to have the Halberd, I think I would go for the Twin Blade, too. But I think I would go for the bow, which would let me do. Thanks. Let's hope the magnificence of my... Well, uh, very good. Prepare to peer. I actually want to see... Forget about trade. What do you sell? The Ring of Knowledge increases intelligence, extends length of spells, restores HP and spell use. And he's got, wow, a lot of spells. Lightning Flame. In fact, I might... If I ever do go for Pyromancy, I might want to pursue some of these. So if I ever play a uh, sorcerer or even a Splendid Life Unveil uh, faith-based character, a cleric, I may want to make sure to get to this guy relatively quickly. But seeing how I'm not, um, let's forget about all that for now. Is there a guy here? There is. Alright, we'll kill these guys. I could actually get the souls that I need just from killing these guys and this guy. Because that was like 50, not a lot of souls. Whatever it was, it wasn't a lot. In fact, the other thing I want to try doing just for the hell of it is light a torch and light the thing down there. I like lighting crap on fire. Yeah, it, this leads me to believe that you get petrified from those guys if they uh, kill you uh, through their explosion attacks. So I prefer to avoid that when possible. Now, I think I only need 1,500 souls or something for that bow. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, let's find out. Nice. That guy stopped him. So, whether I get this one or this one, actually I could start using the Warp Sword. So let's get the Warp Sword. I was going to say, I can't use the bow because I don't have the strength. Do you really think? So, it's by default going to do less damage than my Falcon. Although it's a curved sword, slash, slash. I could do wield actually, if I wanted to get fancy. I could do this. No. What are you doing? They're both slashing weapons. Let's not hit him accidentally and aggro him. I'm not sure what that does. I 
Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder why I can't do a power stance. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, now I, I think I want to upgrade that. Thing. Oh, I already killed those guys. That's why they're not there. Yeah, I don't... This doesn't do enough damage yet. For obvious reasons, the plus five... Uh, Falcon is going to do more right now. Falchion? Fal Falchion? Falcon. I am looking forward to getting the Dragon Rider Bow, but that means I have to increase strength. There you go. And now you're dead. Yeah, three hits with this. That was like five hits with the warped blade. On the other hand, I can always upgrade the warp blade. This looks like a hidden door. Nope. Okay. I can always upgrade the warp blade. Just kind of what I'm doing right now is gathering some souls. But maybe I should save that for another time. Alright, so where am I at? Well, I can make my way back down and let's go down and fight some of those water giants or whatever they are I think they're water giants is what the official term is well, whatever they are I don't like them if I can get enough souls one of the things I can do is upgrade Not exactly what I was trying to do. Shit. Just die. Um, I can level up if I get enough souls. I'll need a lot because what's my character at? Player stats. I'm only at 16 strength, so I need a lot to well to get to 20. But if I eventually get to 20 strength, I can get that bow, and that could be nice. Or I could focus on just buying Titanite shards and leveling up this thing, the uh, warp blade. In either case, I have to fight these guys, and I don't want to, because they can kill me very easily, as I've learned. There's at least three down here. I haven't gotten past three. I'd like for him to just fall down this thing. They don't want to seem to do that. If I had a crossbow, this would be easy. If I had spells, this would be easier. I don't have either of those two things. guys hit like a truck. Which is not pleasant. Malformed skull. What the hell is a malformed skull? The skull of someone identified creature swing at a great hammer or use as a weapon. Possibly the skull of a dragon, a rare specimen likely to rear to be swung about willy nilly. Oh, isn't that interesting? 
yeah, I can't wield it, but I just want to see what it looks like. Holy shit, that's awesome. It won't even matter if I try to two-handed it still. But that would be fun. Yeah, if I was a strength build, that would be a lot of fun. One day. I'm probably not going to respect this character. I think I want to have like a strength character, a um, magic user, a faith, a miracle character, or a faith build. I think I want to have one of each type of build, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. It's early. I could always respec. Make life a little easier. I wonder. Can I just shoot you? I can. It's going to take a lot of arrows. But I could kill you this way. With little to minimal danger to myself. Maybe this is how I should be fighting these guys. Just have to remember to buy a crap ton more arrows. I could try poison arrows. Luckily, each one of the, each time I kill one of them, it gives me like two thousand souls, which is essentially two hundred arrows. If I had a better bow, this would be even better. I definitely do more damage when I'm zoomed in. So this is kind of the cheap way of fighting him, but still. Now, here's my concern, is that there's going to be more of these guys, but I can't run through the water fast enough really get away from them. There's at least one more right there, or something. There's something there. Okay. Oh, it's one of those guys. Did I aggro something? That's the question. I don't think I did. So this is the farthest I've gotten here, because last couple of times I got this far, I got killed. No more of those guys. Okay, there's stairs. That's a good sign, maybe. Alright. Let's just take care of these guys. And I hear noise, which does not make me happy. Big, many things that cause said noise. It's locked, okay. There's an item in there. Uh, is that a chest or is that a mechanism? What is that? Looks like a mechanism of sorts. Is there anything across the way that I should be aware of? No. 
nothing that I can see in there, but there could be something. There are cells down there, which could be good, could be bad. I don't want to go down there, but I think it is in my interest to do a little bit of exploration. First, let's explore up here. What's this skeleton? Nothing, nothing. I hear jingling, I hear noise. Never necessarily a good sign. Nothing that I see. It's locked. How much do you want to bet that the other gate is locked as well? Wary of ambush down. I don't like that. Be wary of skeleton. That doesn't mean anything. Hold back. Hmm. I am afraid of an ambush in one of these cells. There's at least one of those dudes and one of those dudes in there. Kill you. If I go in here, is there anything in here of interest or of note? No. Let's kill that guy from a distance. And I bet there's two more in the other two cells, if I had to guess. Because that's how these things usually work. Shit. Okay. Alright. Come on. Learning skull. There's got to be a guy in there, right? There is an item in there. <sighs> Pharaoh's Lockstone and Solar Pro Knight. That's kind of good. Pharaoh's Lockstone's definitely good. Okay. So, what kind of crap do I have to deal with up here? Brazer, two ladders, and the fog wall, and then two ladders, two doors, or staircases going up and around. It's up here. Okay, is this just so that... Nope. I see. So that's just so that I can avoid the bottom portion. I'm having to fight my way through that. Anything up here? I mean, it's the same thing. Key required. Okay, so that's not happening. Um, I could light this, which I'd have to go all the way back to... Well, it's not that far. Let's make a run for it. See if I get attacked, too, actually. Because I think I got everything. But just in case. If I missed something, it's bound to jump out and attack me. I thought that might be a ladder for a second. Um, I love the lighting effects. It does look beautiful, especially when I can light it up like this and I can see crap. I don't like the fact that it's running through here so slow. Um, satellite. Okay, good. Now I have a torch here. So I can use that if I need to. Boss ahead, okay. That's what I was afraid of. Before we do that, and in fact I'd rather not do the boss just yet. It's locked. Damn. Okay, there's an item in there. I'd actually rather not go fight the boss just yet. There's an item. Radiant Life Gem. 
seemed like the perfect place to put items, so I figured they'd be here. Um, it's locked. Damn. Okay. So, I have 9,000 souls, which I'd rather not lose if I could help it. I don't know if I can help it. Um, because that's another level up towards strength, towards uh, a bow, and all that stuff. Huh. So I'm debating fighting the boss, losing the souls, or not fighting the boss, not losing the souls. See, the thing is, the knowing part is this, that if I could unlock those doors, I could probably run past most of this part and then just run up the stairs I guess here and then run around like this run past all of these explodey dudes run through the gate I guess alternatively I would just drop down and run through the gate this way so I could still still not too bad just so that I don't have to fight past this every single time Alternatively, I do fight past it every single time and get a bunch of souls. And that's not too bad. So it's a bit of farming. But could be good for the old levels. I don't know. I gotta think about what I, how I want to approach this. If I'm going to farm this area, I am going to do it off camera though. So not to worry folks, you don't have to watch me sit here uh, farming. But uh, right now I'm going to take these souls and go level up, I think. Uh, I would rather do that. Uh, and then debate farming this area or running through. Um, in fact, I could go buy the bow from Strad, but it still doesn't matter without the uh, associated, whatchamacallit, strength. So, we'll have to figure out what to do. Anyways, folks, uh, I'm going to do that off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, instead of point, let's do mock and see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, again, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, hit subscribe. And as always... I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Aducium, and I'll see you folks next time. Later.